The Waldorf approach is one that uh, values uh, human development and child development especially. And so we aim to match our curriculum and our activities and our teaching to uh, the various developmental stages that students go through. When I first came here, it was interesting because there's so many different cultures of people here. Um, a lot of different backgrounds of people and we all came together at the beginning of the year and it was you know, new and you kind of had to work it out a little bit, but um, we've grown into a really great community, I think. Uh, this school is hands-on, not just in the administration, but with the faculty, staff, and the students. Um, being a new school, we have a lot of decisions to make and a lot of culture to build. And the students, as well as faculty, all get called on to help build that culture. So we carefully choose content and activities and assignments for um, the way students, especially teenagers, are developing through their four years of high school. And we see that the arts and practical hands-on activities are the, the things that really help students develop not only intellectually but um, emotionally and psychologically. Um, if you just sit down and you get lectured the whole day and in school, when you're sitting in school, it's really not good for your development as a human being as a whole. So we want to be active. Look at the raw data and say, well, you know, what, what can we say from this? Experiment. That, that, that the film canisters fell at the same time because it was like... And we do lectures and we do academic work. We have very high academic standards, but it's all based in combination with the doing and with the relationship building. So we call this head, heart and hands. Head for the thinking and the academic part, heart for the relationships and the hands for the practical part of our education. Um, art is one of the biggest parts of Waldorf integrated throughout any curriculum and any subject. Um, one great thing about this program is since we have such a small school, I can really work with the other teachers and the other teachers can work with me of how to blend our subjects together. I feel that this school is so far going great. It's like a second home. You know, some kids think that, oh, school, you know, prisoner in your own school. But um, the school is really, it's really great. It's a lot different from my other school because I'm used to a bigger school, but I like this school because it gives you a kind of a more one-on-one -on -one time with your teacher and it's easier for you to get help. I like it and I've just never heard any good relationships at big schools with between students and the teachers of which that like the teachers don't really know even who you are. Seeing students is what they really crave, that they, we recognize them as individuals with, with capacities and talents, and you can't always do that no matter how good the teachers, no matter how effective the administration, if there's too many people. If the teachers here really know your name and they know your background and um, they're really open to helping you and supporting you and your goals and um, just helping you achieve those goals also. One of the things that I love the most is the question that we ask, they ask all the students and that's how will you engage the world and I believe that this is what she's learning in the classes that she has is how is she as an individual going to engage and what is she going to bring forth to the world and I like that. I, I, this is something that I want her to be taught in school as well as at home. I want to see this. All right. You know, like I do when we're, when we're practicing this. Okay. See what a scourge is laid upon your hate. That heaven is fine seems to kill your joys with love. I want them to have an artistic and aesthetic experience of the world around them. And as a literature teacher, I want them to uh, to love literature, to get involved with the stories of, of history, of the cultures that the stories come from. I want them to act it out. I want them to sing songs about it. Um, I want them thinking all the time about those things. And I want them to be able to express what they're thinking and what they enjoy so that their writing skills are something that will serve them in good stead throughout their future. I'm Doc. The tree doctor. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've heard of you and I've seen you on TV. You do those commercials. The, the drama class is 
it's really nice because the students kind of get to control it and get to um, decide what what plays they're gonna do. Is she having a baby? Oh, or basketball? We never got the basketball. Baby, 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 baby. Who are you people? We are from the Guiding Star Commune. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's that's really nice to be uh, put in a position where the an adult will look up to you enough to help you let let you help plan the class and let you uh, point out where you want to go with your education. They have they need to be asking themselves that here because we're asking them what classes do you want what subjects are of interest to you. Um, what activities? To, what activities do you want us to invest in? Where should we go out looking for grant money? And, and I think we would take that very, very seriously. That is the learning process. That is what they need to learn. Up until this point, I've been really interested in architecture or design. After the Air Force Academy, I hope to become a test pilot. I also believe in justice, so I'm going to uh, major in law to become a judge.